A ski patroller caught in an avalanche today up at Solitude. Let's take a look at the map that shows the avalanche danger. And basically, the entire resort is in that area, as well as a lot of other places in the Wasatch front, basically in the high category. ABC4's Nick McGurk live at Solitude right now with more on that story. Nick. Don, I just spoke with the media relations coordinator here at Solitude. She tells me it was around 10:15 this morning when two patrol officers were caught in an avalanche. Now, what the, what's going on up here? They had six feet of snow in about the last five days, and so there's a serious amount of snow, and there's a lot of mitigation work that needs to be done to make the runs here uh, safe for the public, even in bounds. So Sarah Huey, Solitude spokesperson, tells me uh, there's a lot of work that needs to happen to control and mitigate avalanche risk. That's what was going on this morning. A group of patrollers was up doing avalanche control up Honeycomb Canyon. Two patrollers were caught in the avalanche. One of them, we're told, was actually buried. Uh, both were rescued shortly after that. Banged up, but okay. We're told they were told taken to the local clinic, uh, and they are going to be okay. No word on their ages, and, and their identities have not been released. Live at Solitude, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.